Yeah. I bought a Brave figure to customize. Oh, there, there you go. Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, we are uh, live tonight. Uh, I've got uh, myself, uh, Lucas. I've also got Christian. What up? And I picked up a Destron. Forever. That's, Destron. That's not Anna. I'm not Anna. Yeah. Now, Anna was busy tonight doing some grading and whatnot, so we decided uh, we'd have to go on without her because next week, uh, I don't believe that we're going to have a show because Anna and I will be driving to uh, TFCon um, with another friend. So, And I'll already be there. There, there you go. Good, good for you. And yeah. Peter, you're gonna be there on Friday, right? I think. That's Maybe. the rumor. Yeah, yeah, something, something like that. So. I can confirm yeah. that rumor. Huh. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I think we'll all be at at TFCon, and we'll probably do a show from there, and uh, all that. But it'll be a pre-record because you can never trust the Wi-Fi. So. I know we had that issue a few years ago, so it's like, yeah, just just record it and then put it up, you know, shortly. We did do it. So. It was cute. We'll we'll try it again better this time. Yeah, yeah. So Rob says that Anna looks weird. Yeah. <laughs> so Peter, I was a little disappointed. I tried to go and get Monster Mash at the store, and I didn't see it. At least at Walmart. I don't know. Is it a Target exclusive or? Um, we've seen it so far at Target and Aldi, if you have Aldi in your area. Oh, have maybe you it's just eaten it started. yet, though? Oh, yeah, this is this is empty. I ate it on the show a couple weeks ago. Okay, yeah. cool. I was really disappointed that it was not all of them mixed together. It's so so then I like bought text. all of them. I'm going to mix them together. Yeah, we bought the Monster Mash, and then we bought each of the three regular flavors that are normally available uh, separately. Mm -hmm. So I've been eating those on the side. I wish they would have just done like a commemorative fruit brute or fruity yummy mummy just for funsies in yeah, addition I'm to sure monster why mash. Come out because they were like, "Hey, monster mash! It's all five of them. It's like there's yeah. only three right now." <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm happy that it happened. It's putting a spotlight on those characters, and maybe that'll drive demand for next year to have something. Even though this is the 50th anniversary of monster cereal, so wow, <clears throat> uh, that's that's kind of crazy. I did not realize. So. I remember when Fruity Yummy Mummy came out in 88, I want to say. It was like, it felt like a big thing because there was like a commercial thing where they were driving it. And I was like, oh, I need to get that. And, you know, it was the 80s. We were weird. That's our review for Monster Mash. We'll catch you next week at Serial Con. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> so anyway, so tonight uh, we are doing uh, Rodimus Prime, the commander class. And... We've had it for a while, and I guess I, I, I guess apparently Randall still doesn't have have his. Um, so he was saying that the pulse stock still hasn't come in, which is frightening. That's kind of crazy. But um, mine showed up from pulse. Oh, well, I don't know. My, they showed up, but they Randall were smashed. Show from pulse. Wow. Yeah, I know. I saw. So I mean, lucky that his didn't show up because at least they're not smashed. But mine where fans come first came nice and smashed. Um, yeah. But I didn't open it because I'm dumb. So the boy loaned me his. So this is actually my first time handling the figure. So this will be fun. I'm trying to remember. Did this, this was just in the, oh, I guess I got it from Target. So, you know, it's just in the regular box or whatnot. So yeah, that's where he got his was Target. Mine yeah. was Amazon. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm glad that I'm not a mint box collector, so I don't have to worry about that kind of, kind of jazz. Because I, I feel like the times that I've wanted to like leave something in the box, it's always been smashed. So, you know. Oh well. So anyway, but yeah, we've been putting this off because I don't know, Christian. It seems like you haven't been all that super excited about the figures. So. I'm not really. Yeah. Now, do you think that if this would have come out before Hot Rod that you would have been more excited? Probably. Yeah. I think that's probably part of it. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to all that. 
Yeah, so do we want to start vehicle mode or robot mode? Or yes, what? please start in the vehicle mode because so, we need to talk about it. So vehicle mode, my issue with this, and I realize I'm sure that there is a fix that I could do, um, but there is a, like, yeah, it looks like this. And I think that you can, I don't know, I've heard that you can put some uh, future or super glue or whatever kind of like on the tab just to kind of give some more friction to, to make it better. Um, but uh, there is one piece to... placement that is interesting that you guys need to take a look at. I haven't transformed my back since I've learned about it. But if you open up and you have the cannon collapsed in the trailer bay, the side shield panel things, they need to be facing up instead of facing down. And apparently that helps. Sorry. I don't. These like, sorry. You're saying like this, right? Yeah. This is how I have it. That's how and, I have okay, it. Okay, cool. It, Still gappy. Good. It did not uh, mine was too. And there's a little, there's also, when you put this cannon inside, there's a little like a tab. tab thing that it goes into too. So it's like, I have it like that. I have all that. It's just that, it don't, you know, It does not go together. It does not go together flush. Like, it looks really, um... I mean, it looks really great though. Like the the paint on on it uh, looks really good. Like I mean, it looks just a thousand yeah. times better than the Power of the Primes one. So, I mean, hey, I you did it. How'd you do it? What'd you do? I folded those flaps up and then made sure that the the cannon was seated nicely down into the the peg or into the hole. Maybe maybe I need to do this again and I'll do it and then it'll just be like, oh, I'm an idiot. Like, I'll try it again then. No, when he showed it to me initially, that was my first thing. Like, there's a gap. And he's like, yeah, it doesn't close. And I was like, mm, mm. yuck. Yeah, I don't know. Mine still doesn't. Like, it's better. I don't know. Yeah, no, I know. I know that's like, I can put some future crazy glue on it or whatever. So... But oh, uh, help. it makes it thicker, makes it harder to close. But it might give it that grip. If if, yeah. if it's just oh, a I little see. bit on the lip that we need, you just paint Got one it. of the tops Got of the tab, and it might grab just enough. I was misunderstanding where to place it. So normally, you put it on joints to make them stiffer, and I was like, you, you don't need yeah. that there. Yeah, cool. I, I don't know. So anyway, but the trailer, uh, the trailer itself, like, looks really good. I mean, I. I would say that the trailer is, um, I don't know, like the outside looks really good. There are these little pistons on the back, which I think is a really neat touch, like for the, um, you know, back little, like there's like a little ramp and, and all that. Um, you could put some dudes in there. So, yeah, no, but this actually ramp connector. fits does have yeah. the ramp connector. Yeah, That's cool. And I believe you can actually fit the uh, some of the deluxe cars in here, whereas like the Optimus trailer you couldn't because it was too small. That's one thing that I think is worth mentioning. When he was pulling this out to, to let me borrow it for the review, his Optimus trailer was sitting off to the side, and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Put those two together. Let me see them side by side. And I didn't bring it down. But the Optimus trailer, as everyone knows, the Earthrise Optimus trailer is so short and so tiny and so sad. And this is hefty and, you know, you don't have to buy an add-on pack to give it a roller. You don't have to buy an add-on pack to give it guns and things. It's This feels Rodimus-y, whereas right. the Optimus felt less optimus -y. Yeah, see, I... And that's the thing is, is that I would gladly like if they literally took that Optimus and maybe they say painted it 100 percent like how you would want it with the legs and whatnot, repackaged it and uh, put it with a good trailer. I might pay commander prices for that because I already paid pretty much. I know I got. I got an argument with someone on Facebook because <laughs> they were calling me Mr. Moneybags because I bought an upgrade kit for that Optimus. Because <laughs> my argument was, is, hey, look, I know this is $80, but 
I had to do that for my Optimus, like between sticker kits and upgrade kits and whatever. And he's like, oh, Mr. Moneybags, mind your upgrade kits. And he was 100% serious. So I was like, <laughs> um, I was like, man, you're in the wrong hobby here if you're concerned yeah, it was about not that. someone we knew, just some, yeah, some random yeah, just person in a Facebook person. group. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It was funny to see. Yeah. Anyway, um, and so there's also a little trailer, or I'm sorry, a little tray at the bottom of the trailer that you can put more parts in. Um, so that's pretty put slick. The, put all the crap in there. Which is nice to have a place to put all the crap, because it comes with a lot of crap. It came with like eight blast effects or something ridiculous like that. And I was like, why am I paying all these blast effects? I hate them. <laughs> I hate them so much, guys. I... I hope we're almost done with them. I have a suspicion that we'll never be done with them now, but I want them to go away so badly. I disagree completely. I think the blast effects are one. Are there one of those? They're one of those uh, play pattern things that I want, that I've always wanted in some form or fashion, and would replicate or try and like do as a kid in various ways. And now that we have them, look at this thing. This thing is nuts, and it comes apart and does whatever. This is the right one, right? He, He gave me the right one. Threw it in a bag and never looked at it again. Is okay, the, and then yeah, it came with the got, matrix shiny thing. Got the uh, the black smoke things attached to his pipes. I saw those. Yeah, they're on there. Those are great. This is all great, and you can you know mix and match and make it look like he's getting shot or there's shiny matrix stuff. My complaint about this one is it's hard, whereas I think the Optimus one and the and the Hot Rod one were softer, more the rubbery. Hot Rod one is hard. Is it hard? It is hard. It's the only blast effect I like. Damn it. Yeah, this is pretty tap tap tappy, which is scary. Yeah, it comes on. Um, it also comes with that sword. And Peter, I'm really glad you're here because I was thinking about how I was going to review this without you. I was like, Peter would know where this sword is from. Where is the sword from, Peter? Absolutely, so, the sword so is guys, from. So uh... guys, I just want to note. I just want to say, Rob's in the chat, so we got to cut out this mini masterpiece stuff he doesn't like that so i mean i was gonna say this does kind of remind me a little bit of the masterpiece mp9 trailer for well like whatever the takara one um obviously it's smaller um and it has more stuff but you know like i think the outside is is somewhat reminiscent of it terrible terrible note uh, and and where it, where I am as a fan and how just an awful person I am I guess I never opened MP9, no version of them. I never I saw people had issues with them right out of the gate and so I just never opened them. And then when uh, DX9 Carry came out, I bought that and was like, ah, mm-hmm. it's my masterpiece, Rodimus. He's fine, and he was fine. Yeah. So I've got I've got every release, I've got the Dark Rodimus and the reissue, the the US version, blah blah. I've never opened any of them. They look nice, but you could just look at pictures to see how nice they look. So my my only complaint about the trailer, so it has a little like front spot too, and you can take the, um, the little gun and you know put it. I think you can you can like turn it around, and if I can get this right, yes, you can. Um, like you kind of do like a deal here, I think, um, with the gun, um, like out the front of it. But I don't know. I kind of wish that there was more deco on the front of it. Like that's my only complaint with it. But I don't know what you guys think. Put a rub sign there. Yeah, oh, there you go. I there. just need the rub sign, and I'll be good. I don't like Bottomus himself's. Uh, Vehicle mode. I, I don't like it. I, oh, and it then look, also I was like going to mention too on this trailer that a um, couple other things before we get to the that. Uh, so wow. these things, I don't, I don't know. They're fine, I guess. Um, the inside of this trailer has just the most insane amount of like five millimeter ports. So I'm not 100% sure. I don't know. I, I feel like they didn't need, like, the placement of them is kind of weird. Yeah. So I, I can't really put a lot of stuff in it and close the trailer. Um, I don't know. I, I I feel like they could have 
like cut down by like 50 percent on these five millimeter reports but it's truly excessive And then it also comes with this little gun, which is reminiscent of the original toy, which is really neat. But it's on a track, so it looks like it looks kind of like the the cannon that Optimus Prime used in what episode was it where it drove out? Was that Fire in the Sky? Where it drove out of the trailer? Yeah. And then got blown up or whatever. But yeah, it like drives out of the trailer and and then that's yeah so that's neat the only time it ever does that so you know the funny thing is so uh ron in the chat says um who was it ron someone was saying oh i'm sorry jason was saying he doesn't like the unpainted rims i swear every single version of like carrie had didn't have painted rims either yeah because the original toy doesn't have painted rims yeah right I don't think the animation model does either. I'm sure they're painted in some shots, and depends on if it's uh, Acom or or, or Toei yeah. or whoever. I'm sure those it probably would look nice with rims, though. It just yeah. doesn't. I don't think it has to have them for accuracy. I'm trying to remember if the masterpiece had it. Nope. Okay. And these are all on so. pins. All right. Oh. Bottom is vehicle mode. I don't like it because it's just a worse version of Hot Rod. Yeah. Like if it's going to be the cab of a truck or the cab of the Winnebago, whoever you want to call it, I feel like it needs to do the G1 Rodimus thing or the Optimus thing and be like cab legs and they go under the trailer and then boom, that's it. This is like, oh, it's, it's Hot Rod, but it's also not Rod. It's this significantly worse hot rod. Yes. And it's not accurate to anything, and why? Make it correct. The car mode is not accurate to hot rod. The front looks just enough like Rodimus to get away with it. Uh, and there was a there were a couple episodes of uh, of season three where he drove out of the trailer as the hot rod car. Mm-hmm. Oh, so. 11 years since I watched that so so that's that so that's vaguely and but it's it's all poorly animated whatever so it's vaguely cartoon accurate but at the same time all the pre-production photos I saw of this thing I swore I swore and I like told people like don't worry it's it's mistransformed it just looks Uh, funny because it's mistransformed and when we get it we'll all be pleasantly surprised that it'll nest better and it'll fit better and it'll look more like we want it to or like our mind's eye wants it to. And I was wrong. Oh, man, I was wrong. Oof. It's far from the most egregiously incorrect thing I've ever seen in my entire life, but it's also not great. I guess passable. And I guess that's yeah, why it's over in it's... Kingdom instead of being in studio series where everything has to be accurate. But, like, if you're that close, why, you know, biff it at the end? That way they can release the slightly more accurate version in studio series in a year. Yeah. <sighs> so the one thing that's a little frustrating for me, too. So, like, the wing of this car looks really cool. Like, it has this, you know, really nice thick paint on it. But then with the paint and with it, like, sliding into the car... Like, mine already has a paint chip, like... Scrape the paint off. Up here, yeah, so... Good time. Be sure you do that. Every time you design stuff, Hasbro, please make sure we have to scrape the paint off to play with the toy. We love that. (laughs) Hey, that's Gen 1 accurate, man. (sighs) Yeah, see, that's what... Yeah, Catherine says, this lack of greatness makes it more accurate to the G1 toy, so... (laughs) perfect yeah Yeah. i do like rob uh he said that you know every time that we say oh it's probably mistransformed it is never mistransformed it's like nope that's how it is like i felt like that way with with uh the masterpiece bumblebee you know like oh maybe it's just mistransformed maybe they just didn't get those panels right it's like nah nope that's what it is those, those are the feet in. That is the backpack. Enjoy. Yeah. So. Yeah. Wor- worst hot rod car. 
And I guess I, isn't that, now is a good time know. to talk about that. I mean, it's not that. that. Like, because look, doesn't... I think, I think I would like this figure more. If two things hadn't happened first. If this wasn't the third commander, and we had Jetfire and Skylinks. You know, if we hadn't had them come first, because those two are such phenomenal figures, and this is kind of like average. And average is still pretty good these days. But, you know, we're used to Commander being like, wow, this is like Toy of the Year stuff. And then we get this one, and it's fine. It's just, it had a lot to live up to. And then we had Hot Rods from Studio Series come out at the beginning of this year, and that toy yeah. is incredible. So it's like, holy crap, we've got Hot Rod, and this is the, the most amazing toy to come out of Hasbro in years. What's Rodimus going to be? It, and he couldn't, he couldn't live up to that. And that's, you know... That's managing expectations. It's not his fault of his own. Like I said, he's pretty average to me, which is still pretty good. It's just the previous commanders were really great. Hot Rod was really great. And then Rodimus Prime comes out and is average, and that's fine. It's just he had a lot to li- live up to and couldn't possibly meet those expectations, and therefore I'm disappointed. That's also G1 accurate. You've got a great Hot Rod toy, and then you get the Rodimus toy, who's the upgraded Hot Rod, and it's just like, oh, he's... Oh, he's fine. Yeah, yeah I, fine. I don't know. I mean, I still think that it's it's pretty darn good. Like, I mean, Carrie is a really great figure, and, and obviously we don't want to compare masterpiece to this, but I mean that's such a fun, <laughs> like that's such such a fun figure. The the one thing I'll say about this though is is the trouble with carry is is it's all like integrated together and so the car mode is tiny like and so it doesn't fit like in in car like as as cool as it is like the car mode doesn't fit in with anything in um in vehicle mode or whatnot so yep. Peter will you please tell us where that sword comes from because I have forgotten it looks How? familiar I just don't know this is like the the sword of Primus that was introduced in the Regeneration One comic Thank book you. by Simon Furman, circa twenty, I want to say fifteen, sixteen, somewhere in there. Not my favorite comic, not Furman's best work, but there it is. Hot Rod got a sword. It was floating in a little field in the center of the planet. Cool. And he, and he grabbed it and used it to slay demons. Oh yeah. Someone's got slay demons. Yeah, I don't know. I think I like this a lot more than you do, Christian. Like, I actually really, okay. I really like this, and I, like, I don't. Look, I'm not okay. ever here to make sure someone doesn't like something. Right. I'm just saying that I don't like it as much as you do. That's fine. We can. Have, I, we're different people. We have different tastes. Okay, so. This is like, cool looking, though. Do you like this better than Galvatron? Yes. Yes. So, I haven't I, played with the Galvatron yet, but everything, especially once you get into robot mode, once once I take it out of car mode and I, and I don't have to think about that, I've only gone from one, uh, you know, like I said, this is not mine. This is my my kiddos. So I've only gotten to flip, flip, flip modes once now. Uh, but the trailer is great. Everything about the trailer I'm really enjoying, except for the, the scene, which I think I now have handled, which is good. Uh, I didn't even realize that the tray opened, so you guys showed me that, and that's good. Um, and all the places where everything plugs in love it car mode is beans i don't like it but once you get them out of car mode and into robot mode man awesome this is this is a nice chuggy rodimus prime are we are we using chug now are we saying chugster piece what, what i forget classics <laughs> generations what, what terminology are we using anymore i think it's mini masterpiece is what, we, sure, what the consensus was i'm sure TFYLP Paul, staff. Uh... I don't know. It depends. Are you talking to Paul or are you talking to Rob? So Okay, so if it's Paul, i got to call it Chug, and if it's Rob, i got to call it Mini Masterpiece. Got it. And it basically is a Mini Masterpiece. It's wonderful. He I like point. it. Robot mode is great. Look at him point. He's pointing he points. at you. That's what mine's doing. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, he looks the part. He looks exactly like he should. He's got the older face, and everyone's like, oh, his face is so bad. Nah, it's perfect. Love it. No, he's I mean, the, he's got that, the giant that wing, weight. Which is cool. The the weight of the world on on him, you know, that yes. Rodimus has. Yeah, this is this is the Rodimus we needed. He looks fantastic. I'm super happy he's here. He's not as good as Hot Rod, but that's okay because he looks like I need him to look, and he'll just stay in this mode forever, mostly. And then um, I'm happy. And again, it's not like I hate the other stuff. 
It's just it's not as good as what came before. It's not as good as some other figures in this line. But this this looks right, and I like it a lot. Oh, Paul Paul says that all retail Transformers in the U.S. are underpriced and hence worth it. Okay. Thanks, Paul. What? I don't think anyone was asking that, but I'm glad he contributed it anyway. James says he thinks that he actually likes Rodimus more than Hot Rod, uh, that cool. the shoulders are way better. Okay, good. The shoulders Look, I'm not here have, to, to, to crap on anybody. I'm, you know, everyone can have their opinion. You guys come here to listen to my opinion. I'm telling it to you. I'm just amazed people show up every week to listen to my opinion about robots because that's right. fantastic. I will agree with Jason that the, the shoulders are probably better on, on Rodimus than Hot Rod. Hot Rod, you have to like hold them and they're, and they're painted in a funny way. You've yeah. got that funny yellow whatever going on. Um, there's, a, there's an extra bit of wonk in the Hot Rod. I like Hot Rod as a total vehicle like total total package more i think if you just if just just this apples to apples the the cab to the car i think i like hot rod more because the car mode on rodimus is so weak um but i love this the look of the robot mode and like christian said I'm, he's not coming out of this mode once i open mine up the trailer will be open and ooh. he does have his gun it folds in half. That's where mine was. You probably saw it stored on his shoulder because I had him manning the, uh, the base. So his rifle was stored, but it does fold out. You can hold it. His hands. Oop. He could probably hold it double-handed. Let's see if I can make that happen. Kinda. I'm still I'm still transforming mine here. So. I'm sure with posing you could probably get something better than that, but he can't hold it with two hands. The pipes I come out nicely detailed in bot mode, so you can attach your stupid blast effects and make it be like pew pew with the pipes. I don't remember if Rodimus actually does that though, does he? Oh, Hot Rod does it a bunch, but I can't Hot Rod does it in the later. movie. I don't... Rodimus? I'm sure he does at some point or another. All right, cool. One thing I think is interesting about these Hot Rods is they all have different transformations to them. You know, like... It's accurate to the movie. What's that? It's accurate to the movie. He never transformed the same way twice. <laughs> there you go. But I'm just saying in general, like, say if you get a Grimlock, right? Like, every Grimlock is, at the core, is going to be the same. Where, uh, or, you know, or pretty Not close. Pretender Grimlock. And not Big Lot's Grimlock. <laughs> okay. Okay, Peter. But uh, Big Lot Grim. Yeah. You have to, like, disassemble him. <laughs> not R.I.D. Grimlock. <gasps> Already the first one, not the second one. Different dude. Luke doesn't even know who we're talking about anymore. Who what? Robots in Disguise, Grimlock. He's green. The From the R.I.D. 2015 show? No, the 2001 show. That's a weird way to say 2001. Well, but the 2015 Grimlock was... R.I.D. Grimlock was also green, wasn't he? That's, that's also correct. Green. Peter's like, uh, mine's in a tote somewhere. My R.I.D. Grimlock or my or my my Red Fifteen Grimlock? Yeah, because yeah, they're your all. They're Grimlock all... or R.I.D. Grimlock? Yeah, they're all in totes. None of those are out. I don't know that they ever will be. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. It's neat though. Uh, the paint on mine, in fact, uh, came out really well. I really like how the yeah. thighs are painted. Like that's clearly just paint over. I don't know what color plastic it is. Probably gray. But uh, it's really good, like really consistent, and it made it all glossy and stuff. Like it's nice. Mm -hmm. And the paint. On we're so chest used to paint well, having, too. you know, chest paint is very good too. Like a lot of times we get you know little paint mix here and there, and that you know, it's fine. Retail figures have that, and it happens. But like this is immaculate. His has a smudge. 
it's like a green smudge and he, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but yeah, I see it. Yeah. It, I mean, it was like that out of the box and he was like, uh, they only had one at the store. So what do I do? I was like, I think other people have said that about theirs too. I wonder what they were making. That was green next to them. They're making R.I.D. Grimlocks. Yes. Or R.I.D. Grimlocks. People are going to think we're annoying, Peter. We'll be right. I don't have much more to say about Rodimus. I mean, he's he's fine. He looks the part in bot mode. Base mode super cool. The trailer is super cool just in itself. Um, I don't like the vehicle mode very much, but it's fine. And that's what I got. Comes with way too many blast effects. Please don't include them anymore. But He has a matrix. His chest that. opens up. Oh, yeah. So he can have the touch. I don't even know how his chest opens up. I don't think I've ever done it. Just pull really hard. Got it. Boom. Matrix chest. Is it the same mold as uh, the Optimus one? I think it is. It looks like it. Looks like it. Yeah, they're, they're mentioning there's no fake chest on this one, so there you go. That's true. But the chest isn't animation accurate the way it opens up, so probably have to throw the whole thing away. Probably. Like you said, one year from now, we'll have the animation accurate one. And he'll open it from the side. Shroop. Yep. Shroop. I do wish Magnus could hold it. Out of all of the stuff, like Magnus doesn't have a, a matrix holder in his chest. Well, that's the next version of Magnus, right? Yeah. And his hands don't <laughs> open, don't so you can't, like. More do anything with it just kind of throw it just put it on his top of his chest i like magnus he's one of my very favorite characters but i don't want to buy that toy again bought it like four times i'm done three times three times how many more times can we buy it christian i would buy delta and that's it we need a delta and we need one that has blue sides Somehow. And a trailer that doesn't suck. I think it's just a new toy at that point. I don't know. But I feel like the uh, Combiner Wars toy, like, I don't know. Somehow a different if we... dude, but that's a really good toy. No, I know. But I'm saying, like, I, I, I almost feel like you could take that as your base. And, and somehow, like... I did that with the Perfect Effect kit. Yeah, true. <laughs> true. And it was fine it was cumbersome in the end but it worked the rodham this is cool do you think any kits would uh, help plus him up am i wrong here like does the chest not latch in well, like i, I opened so. it for the matrix thing and now it's just out i don't know i, yeah, I was gonna maybe say i've got I... it wrong now i'll work on him kits uh, I mean, he's not very hollow. His legs, are, for this. his legs are solid. His arms are solid. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe something to plug all those holes in his uh, trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I think if they were visible on the outside, it would be a problem. But if they're on the inside, I don't really care. It is odd, though. Like, what is he supposed to carry? Like, he doesn't come with that many accessories, and it's not wide enough to store them in vehicle mode. So it's got to be for the base mode, but nothing is shaped like that. It's very strange. So you can have a forest of fossilizer bits hanging out. That must be it. I always forget about fossilizers because they're not good. I was supposed to be the positive one, and now look at me. Ragging on fossilizers and blast effects and Rodimus. Well, you've been consistent with your hate on both of those, actually, so. That's true. I don't like them. I don't know. 
know. I mean, I think this is just a really solid figure, though. So, yeah. Oops. I think my disappointment comes from expectations based on previous commanders and previous hot rod. If not for that, I'd be like, oh man, this Rodimus is so great. Best Rodimus ever. But it didn't work out that way. Not so his inside fault. The, my fault. Inside the tray, you can click in the uh, the Matrix Shiny effect for storage. Uh -huh. But there's also another section down here with two holes and two oddly shaped walls and a, and a post. I got a post right there. Do we know what that's for? Does that specifically hold something? I think you can put the gun and the sword in there. Okay. Or it's just a... Another example of them putting way too many 5mm things in there. Yeah, that might be it too. Maybe all the 5mm ports that didn't go on the Beast Wars figures were put in this figure, so the line has just the right number of ports as a whole. <laughs> it's the same number of ports that all the lines have always had. And you're like, I guess. <laughs> That's what it does. Solve the mystery. I think I got it, or it's the exact same position as before. Not sure. Yeah, I feel like there's something I'm not doing right here on mine, like when I have the chest and whatever to kind of line everything up. He looks fine. So, can you still get Rodimus, or are we still reviewing stuff that you can't get anymore? Uh, I don't know. I've been seeing him come in and out of stock on Amazon for the past couple of weeks, so you could probably get one there if you're lucky. There you go. Put all the stuff in the tray. I would say get him, but I mostly say get everything because right now it's hard to know if you can wait for a right. sale or anything. Uh, if it wasn't right now, I, I would say wait for a sale. I don't know. I mean, I... I, I hate to actually tell anyone that because, I mean, there's so many figures these days that go up to crazy prices. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and that's... If it weren't right now, but it is right now, so... And, and like Jason says, I mean, what mainline Rodimus is better than this one? Like, that's the thing is, is, like, I feel like this is just a really solid figure. So, I, mean, I, I don't know... Is there know... another mainline Rodimus? What? what? The Power of the Primes one. Power of the Primes is the last yeah, one. That one, yeah. Yeah. So it's between this Power of the Primes and G1. Yeah, get this. I mean, this is like... Or Masterpiece. Get this. Like, like this is just, like, the difference between this and Power of the Primes is just, like, you can't even state how much of a difference. Like, that thing is trash compared to this. Like, that's the thing is, is the people that complain and they're like, oh, I wish this was leader and whatever. It's like, dude, like, I'm sorry. That just... Like, that it showed that leader it. wasn't enough. Right. And apparently Commander wasn't quite enough, but it is a lot better. I really like this figure overall. I would yeah, say no, I don't think... wait for it. Just, yeah. yeah, get it if you see it. You don't know, especially with shipping the way things are lately, and, and we already have warnings that Christmas is going to be weird. At least uh, availability is going to be weird. Pick it up. Because it is, yeah. like Jason said, it's the best Rodimus we've gotten in, in the modern retail line. That's not to say something better isn't coming. Studio Series might have some surprises for us. But I would be angry at that. Apparently, oh, then prepare to be angry. Apparently Rob is uh, loves the power of the prime for Adamus, so there we go. Yes. I, I, I 100 percent agree way. with James that and that's what I was saying earlier in the show. If they released a uh, Optimus Prime that was Commander class that had like all the stuff that the Masterpiece has, you know, like MP44, like with the trailer and stuff, like sign me up. I'd love it. Yeah, I'll get that. I think I'm kind of done with G1 Optimuses at this point because the Earthrise oh, leader is what I want. Come on, but you're never done. if that Commander thing happened, yeah, I'd buy that. Right. 
can you really ever say that you're done with Optimus Prime? It's like, you're like, I'm done until like next month. I have not bought a G1 Optimus since Earthrise. Did you buy the Netflix? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't bought one since that one. It's been like a year or so. Yeah. You're like I swear I can. Like I, I, I swear I can do it. I'm gonna try. Appropriate, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Magnus should be just a little bit taller than Rodders. It looks the part. And that's the thing with all this stuff, too. It's like the same thing as like any of these others. Like they're giving us like, you know, like the best representation that we're going to get. Like, I feel like I can put this stuff on my shelf and say, okay, I'm done. Like, I don't need it. Now, if they release another one that's that's cooler. But like, I feel like the power of the primes, I would feel embarrassed if that was my only Rodimus toy. You know what I mean? Like, that's where I feel like a lot of these has made me to where I don't feel like I have to collect Masterpiece because, like, I feel like this is good enough for me. Now, again, there's other people like, you know, Rob and whoever that don't agree with that sentiment, but... I I didn't... Go ahead. I was going to say, I didn't open Power of the Primes Rodimus uh, specifically because I had the Fans Project upgrade to the Classics Rodimus, and that worked better for me. Uh, the trailer was fine, and, and the, the Bob mode was fine. It did what I needed to do at the time, and Power of the Primes was not, to me, an upgrade to that. This instantly replaces my fans' project, and, and which had already, you know, prevented me from opening the Power of the Primes. So this one is the winner, easily. Mm-hmm. I think for you know, all those shortcomings of figures we've had lately. So, you know, the shortcomings on this one for me, which is the vehicle mode or, you know, stuff like tracks where people really don't like it because the, the leg panels and, and whatever, at least they're very good at looking the part in bot mode. And ultimately I think that's what I care about more than anything. Like I want it to look really good in bot mode and be able to transform. But at this point in my you know, collecting career, I guess, collecting life, I don't really often transform my figures. Like I don't, I don't mess around. I like displaying them more than I like you know, playing with them now. So as long as it looks right in bot mode, I'm pretty happy. And this does. So it, it fills that that hole for me. It does not, however, fill all of these holes. I don't know why there are so many. There's too, there's too many. That's what the kit will be. It'll just be one plate with a couple of a uh, couple of pegs in it to cover the entire floor. <laughs> With a space yeah. for where the gun will sit. It's a good okay. idea. All right. Well, yeah. No, I. I mean, I'd recommend it personally. So, I, I think all the commanders like that's kind of almost been my favorite price point nowadays. Like deluxe is always good too, but, um, yeah, that's. I don't know. It's like they they don't have to necessarily make compromises with it. So. I do like that about commanders. I hope we get more. I hope they start doing two a year. Well, and I the next guess technically the next one next that we year. have is going to be a, a, a flat nose Freightliner type cab with a big old trailer. That's I true. Know. I think the next so... one we're getting is jet fire thing, but ah uh, well, I that's shattered. We don't want that. We do want that. <laughs> that said, I don't know that I would buy this in shattered glass deco. Not really accurate. I, I buy Hot Rod and Shattered Glass Deco. This has to be coming in Shattered Glass Deco, right? Like, this? I, mean, it's just, I don't think I so. I feel like... Would, I, would you buy this in Shattered Glass Deco if it was just this? If it was just the cab portion, the, the funny car, with the goatee? Think, is this a world where I don't have Hot Rod? I, I have to get this or nothing? Is that it's both? For, for, for just spitballing, for pulse selects whatever shattered glass rotters this is the mold you get just this not the trailer not the extra shit stuff just this would you get it yes but i'd grumble okay like i'm grumbling for i feel like to be honest the power of the primes like i would i don't know i'll probably end up getting it because you know i'm a sucker but like 
Um, the Power of the Primes, I kind of just like it as that. Like, I would keep that mold as the... That's Shadow currently Glass what I'm doing. Whatever. Yeah. But... I don't know. We'll see. I'm sure they'll release it, and then I'll be like, oh, I want to go ahead and get that. But Well, if and when that happens, you can catch me and Peter and Nick and Serge and Anna talking about Shattered Glass on the Shattered Glass show when that comes back. And I'll just yell at it for an hour. That's what I did last time. We'll get issue two eventually. Issue three is coming soon. Just yell constantly. That's what I do on that show. See, I'm, I'm really nice and polite here. I'm so awful on that other show. I am the worst. But that's okay. People still come listen to me. There you go. All right, well, um, I guess that's it. Um, so we'll, we'll have another uh, TFYLP on Monday, but then no microcasters next week. And then we'll be at TFCon, so it should be lots of fun there well thanks peter for joining me um thanks for everyone in the chat uh thanks to uh james and jason and rob and Catherine and zaldron and uh ron not and... paul what's that not, not paul. paul not paul <laughs> and uh, go to book club on sunday yeah book club is on Sunday night, 9.30 Eastern, 8.30 Central, is uh, going to be more than meets the eye, 54 or, and 55. And, um, yeah. And, so, all right. Well, thanks, guys, and we will see you. Thanks, Bye. everyone.